An element of versatility in the kitchen would be probably cheese. And why is that? First of all, cheese is an element of food. It's alive. It, it's breathing. It's living because it's all, all these beautiful elements of bacteria and cream and all these. Ah, that's gorgeous. Second part of the versatility is you can work with appetizers, put it in soups, put it in main courses, stuff it, eat it. Baked in the oven, desserts, just more than just doing cheesecakes, you can do uh, mousselines with them, it's gorgeous. Cheese, the amount of cheese there is in the world is amazing. You can cook with cheese, you can travel with cheese. Just go to your cheese shop, ask your cheese person there, and hey, can you select me a nice piece of cheese so I can try and taste different parts of the world? But first, I'm peeling those forel pears. These are small pears, nice, tasty, fruity. I'm gonna poach them in a light syrup. Need some water, some sugar, Gonna melt the sugar down a bit. Lemon juice. The lemon juice prevents the pear from oxidizing, changing color. There you go. Okay, and I'm gonna use a bit of rinds. And put my pear into it. Put a piece of parchment paper on top. Poach, nice, slowly, simmer. There we go. We have some here. Ah, look at this. Voila. I'm gonna slice those. Mmm, smell the nice lemon flavors out coming out of those ones. How's that feel coming along? Would I please have some onions and some uh, garlic, please? Thank you. There we go. I roasted a nice veal tenderloin, keeping those pieces of meat inside of it. I'm gonna sweat some onions. Lightly caramelized, not too much. I wanna get those sugars out of them. Not too brown. Some baby thyme. Look at this, this is gorgeous. and a flambe hit with some eau de vie de poire. Translation, water of life. Flambe gets the alcohol out of it. We want to get the alcohol, but we still want to keep the bouquet. Bouquet is the perfumes, the essence of the pear. Once the alcohol is completely evaporated, I'll add some white wine. Let my wine reduce a bit. Make sure that the alcohol is evaporated. Over here, nice reduction. Adding cream. Mm, look at the texture of this cream. Some veal stock. Mireille, can you come please watch this for me? Let it reduce slightly, not too much. Okay. Let's put some cheese into this sauce. Mmm, look at this cheese. Creamy Tom. Tom is a beautiful cheese. Comes from the region of France. Break it into small pieces. It's gonna give it consistency. It's gonna give it pungent flavor. It's gonna give it this flavor of, you know, Cheese is creamy, it's tangy, it's got everything it needs to finish off beautiful sauce. Even the chunks in the sauce, I want that. I want to keep that sauce nice, chunky, and creamy. Over here, I got my veal. I'm gonna slice this nice roasted, lightly roasted veal tenderloin. It's still 
puissant de Senga, still pretty rare. But what I'll be doing is I'll be finishing it with that tasting sauce, put it in the oven, put some pears on top of that. There we go. And it goes. Can't wait to taste that. How's everything going, guys? Thank you, thank you. Nice job on that one. An element to ensure that you're not burning your cheese while you're working with it, either incorporating it in the sauce, is taking it in small pieces, bit by bit, adding it to your sauce or your soup or fats in small pieces, gently whisking in it without giving it a hard boil. It has to simmer get that creamy flavor texture out of it without shocking it. Let's go. How's everything doing here, Mireille? Good, good, good. Got some butter here. Got some leeks. Got some celery root. Gonna sweat, sweat those off. Nice and slowly. No color here. Thank you. Bit of onions. Add to this. Voila. Let's see. Bit of garlic. Not too much, just enough. Again, let me show you how to cook with cheese. Cheese are versatile ingredients. But here, we have the leeks. Sweat it slowly. Smell those little onions. Great, great. For this recipe, I'll be working with rabbit legs. Let me show you a rabbit leg, deboning backbone. You can always uh, get your butcher to do this for you. But it's fun to do it yourself, just break this bone. Keep this for your stalks. This recipe, working with cheese, but I gotta show you this one. What's this? Hmm, look at this. Vine leaves, wrapped, really nicely wrapped. Ripened, goat cheese. There you go, break a nice piece out of there. Temper it with your hands. I'm adding some the leeks, they cool down the leeks and the onions and the garlic. Why? I don't want to melt down my fat. Adding salt and pepper, a bit of porto. Thank you. Uh, not too much, thank you. Voila. Lemon zest. Okay, thank you. Mm, smell the pork coming out of this. Look at this nice goat cheese, creamy. Can't wait to Taste this one. Voila. Wipe my hands. Take my rabbit legs, season the inside. Salt. Bit of pepper. Here we go. Goat cheese in the middle of this. Oof. It's gonna be nice. Melting, gooey. Ah. Goat cheese is a very popular cheese to work with. You can stuff rabbit legs like this. You can use it with sauces, fish. Small trick here. Keep it inside using skewers. Put one in, lock it, take another one, lock it again. Season the outside. Nice hot pan. Bit of olive oil. Fresh butter. Why the olive oil first? 
I want to make sure that my butter is not caramelized too much. And the butter gives out the flavor. There you go. Look at that. Once they're nicely colored, I'll finish them off in the oven. Reason why? I want the legs to be cooked properly. I want to keep the cheese nice and creamy. Okay guys, let's move it. Toasted those pine nuts, get those essential oils out of them. Mm. Accumulate. Ah, look at this. Nicely toasted pine nuts. Dried fruits, apricots, raisins. Mm. It's gonna be good. Got some diced apples, flambe with calodos, apple liqueur. Whoa, look at those. I'm using Macintosh apples. Mixing that in. With my pine nuts, fruits. Mm. Look at this. This is great. Now, for the best part of all, probably to me, the most elegant cheese ever made, Camembert. French camembert. There we go. Cut a nice piece out of this. Oh, look at this. It's a nice creamy cheese. Take some phyllo. Clarified butter. One side. Nice clarified butter. Fold the sheet. One more time. This is gonna be beautiful. Tasty, melty, flavorful cheese. Cut this in half. Come on back. My apples, apricot, pine nuts. Flambe with Calvados. Get that flavor of apples into there. Wrap it. Cut this in. Place it over. A bit more clarified butter. This is going to be so good. Ah, can't wait to taste this. I'm just going. This in the oven, let it bake, let it cook. Ah. People that do phyllo by hand, I have the most respect for these people. It's a craft. It's something that is incredible to work, to do. It's a tradition. To do the phyllo dough is something that is just out of this world. People take for granted phyllo. Treat it with respect. When you're working with the phyllo, make sure you protect it. Cloth, water, humid, fresh butter on top of it, melted butter on top of it, and work with it proudly, because the gentleman that work with it and work with his hands, pulling and pushing the dough and working with it, respect, because this is an ingredient that this is its respect. Thank you, 
Mireille for those beautiful diced strawberries and mangoes. You know, a friend of mine once told me, you know, chef, there's too much goat cheese used everywhere. So what I said to them, I said, one day I'm gonna make you taste something. You said, wow, this is out of this world. What's this? This is pepper, pepper with maple in it. Maple pepper made somewhere close to my home in the Gatineau's. I put my mangoes, put my strawberries, bit of zest of orange, get the tangy flavor of orange, cut this up too, bit of juice, not too much, just to liquefy a bit. Ah. Bit my version of fraise au poire, what, what? Maple pepper, goat cheese mixed in. Flavor of the fruits, a pepper, nice sweet maple pepper. Thank you very much. So do some canals. Canals are a nice little technique for doing little footballs. You got your spoons. Make sure your spoons are nice and wet and hot. Do a couple of canals. There you go. One. Rinse them out. Second canal. Man, look at this. Smell the strawberries right there. Two. And one more. It's gonna be fantastic. Look at that piece of veal. Cheese on top. Mmm. And one right here. Ah. Over here I've got a nice pan with some butter. Taking some mangoes, some strawberries. Go. Sweat them a bit. Some maple syrup. Just a tad of maple syrup. Go. How's that rabbit doing? Excellent, Chef. Thank you. Yeah. Some mangoes. Finish off with a bit of mint. Mm. This is going to be great. Look at this. Now to the rabbits. Hey, look at those rabbit legs. Mm -hmm. Take the skewers out. Fresh butter. Ah, oh, look at that. We'll melt the butter down a bit. Do a pan sauce with that. Rub it and finish it off with some white wine. Ooh la la. Enough with this veal. But first, with some pureed yams. My favorite root vegetable, potatoes and yams. They're great. They taste wonderful. Veal. Veal loin. Two tome sauce on top. Oh, let me show you this. Nicely cooked medium. <gasps> Can't wait to taste this. Ow. Oh, look at those camemberts. Mm -hmm. Spoon some coolie. Nice warm. Just cream leaks. Nicely sweat. Now to the nice reduction, pan reduction sauce, butter, white wine. Just to drizzle over this, look at this. Drizzle a bit over my rabbit legs. Like that. Deep fried leeks, just to give it a crunchiness, a bit of height. Uh, how about a glass of wine for the chef? is a passion. Getting my guests over at the restaurant, I treat them like guests. They're not clients, they're guests. 
cooking for them. It's like part of a, a full day for me. Tasting sauces, cooking meats, keeping those people in my dining room happy. Leaving and saying, wow, this was great. I'm sharing a big part of me with these people. That's the, one of the main, if not the main reason, sharing my passion with people that have passions about food. That's cooking. Mm. Cheese, an intricate part of all meals, you know? You don't have it at the end, you can work with it, you can have it as an appetizer, like your camembert here, you can have it as a main course. With the rabbit here, the cheese coming out, a nice sauce right there, or dessert. Other things than just doing a cheesecake, you're working with nice goat cheese, putting some fruits, hey, maple pepper into it, get some flavor out, get that chalky flavor out of it, and beautiful, beautiful taste, guys. Let's go, let's go for it. Thanks guys, eh? Beautiful. Yes, definitely, definitely. 